my lovely friends, my name is Ava and these are all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading in August. So I know this filming location and even maybe the quality of the video is different. Um, I'm having some phone issues and that's what I normally film on. So I'm trying to film on my iPad. <laughs> We're gonna see how this goes. I've never done this before. So we'll see, we'll see. Let me know what y'all think down below. Um, but I've tried filming this twice now and both times my phone has crashed. So we're gonna we're gonna reboot my phone. And in the midst of that, we're going to film on my iPad today. So I ended up downloading quite a few books in August. So let's dive right on into these books. First, I downloaded the uh, Five Points Mob Collection book one, um, Filthy by Serena Ackroyd. I've heard a lot about this series. This is a mafia romance series, and I know that a lot of people love it. And so when I saw it for free one day, I definitely downloaded it. I don't want to know anything going into this book because I like going into my mafia books kind of like blind, you know? Then I have Seducing My Guardian by Katie Robert. I think I had like an ebook credit because sometimes you can get an ebook credit if you wait for a package to come later than normal. So I had a couple ebook credits, and so I decided to get this book. This is the next book in the Touch of Taboo series by Katie Robert. This is basically a romance, I believe, between a um, a woman who nine years ago her parents died and then she gets a new guardian and he basically sh ships her off to boarding school and he only ever sees her on her birthday. It's now her 24th or 25th birthday and she's about to get her trust fund and she is planning to just have one night with her guardian to like seduce him and then um be on her merry way and never see him again. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I love Katie Roberts so I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I then have uh Alien Claimed. I have a few alien romance books. What's new? <laughs> um, this is Alien Claimed by Julie Julie K. Cohen. This is available to download for free still. And this is the romance between Ivy, who um, was put on a alien spaceship by her brother, even though she didn't want to. And she comes across this guy named Quinov, and right when he sees her, he knows that she is his heart mate and he's been searching for his brother for years his brother's like been lost and so when he meets our heroine his priorities kind of shift and he like starts to fall for this woman even though all she wants to do is go back to earth <laughs> something that made me really laugh when i read this is that the hero may or may not have two things two you know what i'm talking about right <laughs> and so uh i think this is gonna be quite an enjoyable reading experience <laughs> Then I have um, Lo Alien, Lo Alien Lords Captive. Why is that so hard for me to say? Alien Lords Captive by Mina Carter. This is still available to download for free. This is about Kat and her base is attacked by aliens. And then the alien leader Tarek has his sights set on her and she has one choice, come to his bed or things go badly for her friends. Um, determined to resist, it's hard to remember what she's been fighting against when her alien captor is built like a god and his touch sets her body on fire. She only has to fool him for a while, just long enough to get the information they need to escape. Long enough to find out if her alien isn't the monster she thought. But when the time comes, will she want to leave? Sounds good. Any alien romance, that's for free. I just download it immediately, obviously. <laughs> I then have At His Mercy by Eve Edgley, I believe the author reached out to me and told me that her book was free for one day. So I was like, why the heck not? I'll just I'll just download it. This is available off Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. Omari is a uh, minor scholar of magic and she is tasked to help the mages create this big powerful weapon to defeat the terrible dark elves. But the city is attacked and she's taken prisoner. And then she meets Toth, the powerful dark elf necromancer and prince. Toth shares her shares with her a terrible truth about the history of the Dark Elves, upending everything she has been taught by her people. When Amari finds herself falling for the Dark Elf Prince, she must decide whether to risk everything in pursuit of the truth or allow the human mages to destroy the Dark Elves once and for all. So I guess she's trying to figure out what's truth and what's not. Um, this sounds pretty interesting, so hopefully I pick this one up soon. Then I have Leather and Gold by Gemma Snow. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. If there was a single word to describe the desire Emmeline, widow duchess of South Framley, felt for Captain Andre, it would be forbidden. Forbidden, captivating, tempting, dangerous. She sent him away 18 months ago, obstinately in search of her errand brother, the Marquise of Fulton. But when the captain, 
Alexander returns to the Duchess's estate, she must admit to herself that the errand was nothing more than a way to keep the devilishly handsome captain on the other side of the world and her own wicked de desires at bay. Now that he's returned home, it could destroy them both. Because despite herself and her raging need, Emmeline's want goes deeper than a salacious affair. And if she's willing to share her secret room and more intimate needs with the man who knows and understands them better than anyone else, she might share something even more essential and even more scandalous, her heart. But not even a duchess can hold and explore his attention for too long, can she? I'm like, struggle bus in here with this setup. <laughs> Then I have the Mafia and His Maiden. This is still available to download for free. This is by uh, Winata Prax. Amelia Stone, Choices. Every choice leads to a consequence. This is now my new life and I must live with this consequence. The head of the Mafia of the Lorenzo group, Nicholas, barge into my life like a raging pit bull, destroying my orderly lifestyle and shattering my innocent dreams. Gun poised at my father's temple, he asked me point blank, choose his life or yours. I've made my choice and I must live with the consequences. I become his. But ours is a volatile relationship. He's cold-hearted and ruthless, but behind the surface I can see his fragile heart, haunted by the ghost of his past. He is a reflection of me, both damaged souls bonded together in an unfortunate incident. Will we both live to see the day we cherish each other, or will we both suffer in this beautiful hell together? Another mafia romance. I'm trying to get more, more into mafia romance, so for sure when I saw a free one, I immediately downloaded it. Then I have Awakened, a Sleeping Beauty retelling by Demelza Carton. This is available to purchase for $3.99. Once upon a time, Lord Seward intended to go hunting, but when he stumbles upon a ruined castle and accidentally wakes the mysterious maiden sleeping inside, he knows his holiday is over. With the kingdom in trouble, Seward should be protecting the realm, but every time Rosamond looks at him, he gets lost in the girl's green eyes. Who is the mysterious beauty and why does he feel she holds the key to the kingdom's deliverance? Then I have Guard by A.G. Kirkham. This is still available to download for free. Guard has lived a secret past. His present is Satan's pride, but his future includes Ava. He needs to convince her that she fits into his lifestyle and he'll do whatever it takes to make that happen. Ava needs to let go of the past and make room for her future. She's a young widow with a brand new plan until she meets Guard, who makes her see another path. Can she let down her walls and let him in? This is about two people surrendering and finding the courage to explore their desires for one another. Ooh, very interesting. Then I downloaded Tempting Taste, a hot opposites attract romance by Sarah Whitney. This is the first book in the Cinnamon Roll Alpha series. This is available to download for $4.99. Josie Ryan is everything that quite risks Averse Eric has always tried to avoid. Loud, pushy, distractingly gorgeous. But now that he's opening his own wedding cake bakery, he needs her business savvy almost as much as he needs to bury his hands in her fiery red hair. With scorching chemistry in both in and out of the kitchen, can they find the perfect balance of salty and sweet or will they be a recipe for disaster? That sounds cute. I love baking. I love any like cooking, baking romances. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. Then I have Mission Improper by Beck McMaster. This is still available to download for free. I just saw the name Beck McMaster and immediately downloaded it. I don't really want to know all that much about it. All that I know is that it says it's a thrilling twist on the enemy to lovers theme, a deliciously dark vampire romance with a unique steampunk infusion. I think that's all I need to know. That's why I clicked it. One click they're done. <laughs> then I downloaded Part of Your World by Liz Braswell. This is, I believe, a Twisted Tale book. I own a few of these Twisted Tales. This is a young adult book, by the way. And this one is probably a Little Mermaid one or an Ursula one specifically. It says, what if Ariel had never defeated Ursula? It has been five years since the infamous sea witch defeated the Little Mermaid and took King Triton's life in the process. Ariel is now the voiceless queen of Atlantica. Well, Ursula runs Prince Eric's kingdom on land, but when Ariel discovers that her father might still be alive, she finds herself returning to a world and a prince she never imagined that she would see again. So I thought that was really interesting. I really like like any kind of Disney uh, retelling. So when I saw this was for free, I immediately downloaded it. Even though it is YA, um, I'm trying to get a little bit more back into YA slowly but surely. So we'll see how I feel about this one. Then I have The Shadow and the Sun by Monica Enderly Pierce. I probably just butchered that name. I'm so sorry. 
Um, this is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. Helena is an accomplished leader, a fearsome soldier, and the unapologet unapologetically tough daughter of Ursum's king. When she's ordered to gain the allegiance of Shadow Mage Gaithin, a notoriously dangerous necromancer whose brother is an enemy king, she assumes the negotiations would be simple. Either he'll pledge his loyalty or, or she'll remove his head. But the Shadow Mage isn't what she expected, nor is his situation. Intriguing and powerful, Graythin's the only man preventing the return of an ancient menace that threatens the world. And though he hates to admit it, his sorcery is failing and he needs her help. Suddenly, Ursum's dispute with Graythin's brother seems petty, and Helena must decide who's best served by her sword, her king or every man, woman, and child in the four kingdoms and beyond. That sounds good. Ooh, it says it's a epic fantasy that's perfect for fans of sword and sorcery fiction with a touch of an enemy's lover's romance. Just a touch. Love it. Can't wait. And lastly, I ended up downloading Set by Alyssa Thorne. Um, I read one book by Alyssa Thorne previously, so hopefully I will like this one a little bit more than the last one. Um, I think these are all like a mythological Greek god retellings because the last one I read was a Minotaur retelling and the Labyrinth retelling. Um, I think this one takes place in the same series. It says, once Set had been a god of the deserts with war and storms in his veins. He was a beast of cunning strength and protection, annihil I can't ever say that word, annihilation and destruction. Now masquerading as a human mercenary, he was nothing but a thug for hire. One of the centers around Egyptian gods, apparently. Seth thinks it's just gonna be another boring day in Egypt when he's asked to protect his boss's secret daughter. Then he sees Dr. Elia Nelos in the flesh and the god inside him wakes for the first time in centuries. Before he was known as the god of war, Seth had been a god of protection and he isn't going to let anything happen to Elia, no matter the costs. As a doctor who used to work in war zones, Elia thought that she would be prepared for the worst kind of conflict. That is until she's kidnapped and then saved by a massive mercenary determined to keep her safe. Not only does Elia learn that her father isn't dead, but she's also being babysat by a god of war, a god who isn't exactly acting like the villain in the stories that have made him out to be. Trying to hide from bounty hunters is hard enough, but neither Elia nor Set are going to be prepared for what they awaken in each other. With half of Egypt wanting them dead, they will both pay the ultimate price to save each other. Okay, so this is the very many books I ended up downloading in August. Sorry again for all of the filming mishaps. <laughs> it is what it is. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all!